So here we have a table with rice and waters. And uh, so the waters depends on how much rice you're going to put in. So we know then that the waters is the Y and the rices is the X's, which we can then put on the graph right account if we wanted to do this in different, well, all at the same time, kind of. So we have rice, and then I'm just going to write H2O because it's a smaller word than water. Uh, is this proportional? Well, proportional means that all of these as fractions are equivalent. And we always do, usually we should be doing the y's over the x's, which hopefully will become habit later on for a different reason, okay? That is when we will get to sloppage. So the y in this first pair, right account, is a 0 0.25 over a Juan. And that as a decimal, if we divided that, would be 0.25. Now we can compare these as decimals. Uh, because we're just comparing these to make sure that they're equals. Okay, so the next one would be 0 0.75 divided by 3. And are these equivalent fractions? Yes, they are. If you put them into a calculator, you would get for both of them 0 0.25. The next one is 1 divided by 4, which is 0 0.25. The next one would be 1.5 divided by 6, which is 0 0.25. Now, just because these first four are equivalent does not mean that the rest will be, because as math teachers, it's very fun to trick people here later on in the table. So just be aware that it's very likely that if it is not proportional, it will likely happen later on in the table. Okay? So we do need to compare these other ones. So the next one would be 1.75 over 7. And if we divide that, we get 0 0.25. And is this equivalent to 2 over 8? Well, that's 0 0.25. Well, what about 2.5 over 10? Yes, those are all equivalent. So down here, we would write yes because they are proportional. So yes. All fractions are equals, and that would get you full credit right account. This is kind of technically the answer, but you do need to show work on that. So what is the unit rate? Well, the unit rate is where the x is a Juan, and we've already circled that in the table right account. So when we write this as a unit rate, by the way, so we would say it'd be 0 0.25 over Juan. The problem is, is if this is what you write on the test, you will miss the credit because this is 0.25 cups of water for one cup of rice or just water and rice we can label it like this additionally no decimals 0.25 as a decimal is one fourth so one fourth of water for every one of rice all right, next up here is the rest of the graph. We have labels for our xi. The next thing we need is a scale for our xi. And for the rices, we see that it goes up to 10 cups. All right, so there's our scale for the rice. And again, that is because it goes all the way up to 10. And we need to make sure we get at least up that high. Next, we see that the cups go up to 2.5. All right, so this scale indicates that each line represents 0.25 cupses. Now we need to put the points on the graph. So we have a point, if you have zero cups of rice, you have zero cups of H2O. If you have one cup of rice, you have 0.25 cups of H2O. That point's a little big though, hold on a second. All right, there we go. So the next up is three. So three would be right account, and 0.75 right account. Four and a Juan. 6 and 1.5, 7, which would be right here, and 1.75, right here, 8 and 2, and finally 10 and a 2.5, like these. On this one, it is critical that you put rice on the X and H2O on the Y, because rice is independent, and the H2O depends on the rices. If you guys, if you guys are unfamiliar with that, go right, make some rice at home, and you will find out. Next thing we need to do right here is to connect these points with the line. 
which we will do right now. Oh, that looks very nice. And then we can uh, put a little arrow there in the end. And there's our graph, which is very nice. So here's the graph. Uh, once again, you need to label all the points if you want full credits. So thank you for the reminder. We would want to put all the decimals as fractions. No decimals. And number eight, then it asks us where to find the unit rate in the table. Bam. It's right there. We already found it. And so I would just put an arrow right there. Or you could say where x is 1. Where x equals a 1. Well, that's the x's. And where do you do it on the graph? Well, you find the point. Find the point where x is 1. So there it is. This is number eight, Radhika. If you want to, you know, if you wanted to go back and rewind the video, you could.